Ah, good morning. We're um, back down the river again today. And I just thought I'd show you this, uh, the side of this riverbank as it cuts through the valley. It's been really heavily worked in the, I figure the 1800s. They dug a lot of trenches through here. You can see one that's just here. And the main reason is, there you go. You can see that quartz main running straight through here. So as it imagine as it all erodes out down into the creek, the gold gets released. There's so many trenches through here, it's amazing. You've got to be a bit careful walking around. Uh, this should be a pretty good spot. We did alright the other day. There's modern technology helping me out. I was watching Shrek. G'day mate! <laughs> Just show you the, uh, the inverter's working beautifully. Just cross across here. Just can't believe how quick it is using a high banker. As you can see, the tail is on, they going half an hour. See, it's running, cleaning out beautifully. So hopefully, the gold's sinking. I've got to put a few more holes in the legs, get a little bit more pitch on it, you see a few of them get stuck in there. Now no, that one got thrown. I haven't, um, I haven't done me grizzly bars yet. Oh. You know, it's just it's this little bit of water running through here. And the main reason that is, is see I've hinged it here. The way that box is actually bending, like if you look here and here, how it's bending out a little bit. So the water's running down the outside. I can still catch a guard, I'll probably lose it a little bit. But I'll get that fixed up. And I'll pinch it in here. Let me show you. That rock getting a bit stuck. Oops, I thought doing it one end. Ugh. So it's going through there. Oh. That's not that easy one to end it. Oh, there we go. You can see most of the heavy stuff going through. But when I do a full shovel, it, um, a lot of the rocks get stuck. But I just sweep them out with your hand. It's not too bad actually because like if you get something decent fall in there, you're going to find it as you scoop it out. You can see what I've been digging out of that, that hole. There's that quartz. So that would have been a part of a scene, you know. So, see how we go. I'm going to run a long day today, so Brayton's got his iPad. I can usually get probably four hours out of him, but I want to push him for eight. The river's dropped heaps, you can see the watermark over there. That's good. And I picked this spot mainly, like I said the other day, it's on the inside bend. But this was a big gravel bar, there's just all rocks here. So I'll just work my way up the side of the creek. Something pretty deep, but what I found, I think there's a bit of a hard pack of clay down there. So I'll just move these rocks head up. I don't go into the bank, I don't like it. This one's probably the closest I've ever got. Well, that's right on the edge of the bank. And then I'll get the petrol pump out, I suppose, one day and this summer. And we'll get up here and try a few of their little trenches. See what's in there.
I don't know, just do a sneaky type and you have bright. I'm just sorry and grab the pan and the shovel. See if he knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's funny what they um, pick up just from watching. You know, I don't do much panning, I only pan at my concentrates really. What are you doing there, mate? Fried. Fried him. What are you doing, mate? Looking for some gold? Found any? Huh? Oh, you haven't done it yet. Get some water in there, mate. Plenty of water. That's it. Shake him around. Yep. You need a bit more water in there, mate. Give it in some water. Ready? Whoa! Get some water in there. Wait, I no, I think there I'm you go, in there. Shake, shake, shake. No. Well, you reckon there's some gold in there? Find any? That's a nice hat you got there, mate. Isn't it? I think I've got some gold. What is this? Let me have a look. It is gold. Whoa. Is it gold? No. Nah. Uh, That's a very special piece of quartz, but I'd stick that in my pocket, mate. You want it? Or do you just want gold? I don't know. See you, mate. Well, I'll leave you getting rich, mate. Will you share some of the gold with Dad? Yep. Share your dad! Yeah, will you share the gold with me? Yep. Yeah, that's it, mate. Shake, shake, shake. Now just get a little bit off the top. Pretty good, mate. Whoa, wow. Is that gold? No. Where is it? It's a yellow rock, mate. A bit of quartz. Well, it looks like gold. It does. Here. Yeah. Really does look like gold, doesn't it? Whoop. Alright, mate. Good luck. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Hang on, mate. We well, just stopped because I thought it was getting late in the day. I feel like I've been going for ages. It's only lunchtime. <laughs> I've only been here three hours. You can see the hole. Getting really deep. I thought I'd hit bedrock, but I really hadn't. Just keep pulling rocks out. And you can see that big one there. I've been backfilling to the right. And I'll run right, see where those blackberries are. That's all just like big sandbars. It whips around this corner and drops it all in there. So I'll just keep working along here for a while. And there's a little waterfall there. Might even try to swing around up here and then down into that. I'll show you why. You can see there's a big hill. This is the main washout point. So any water that runs down here, you come down, you know, out there's a right where I'm digging. You can see it coming out. And just here there's another sandbar where it comes out. And later on in the year I'll move down to that bit. But it's, um, it's just amazing how much material you can move. Like if you don't backfill in these holes, you just lose that bank. So it's not hard, this is the way I did it, you saw in last year's videos. Dig right down, and then as I go this way, I'll just grab the rocks from there and put them back. 
Looks like I got a pile there. Just throw them in as I go along this bit. You can see where the flood line's been. And the reason I'm keen to get up here is you can see that that's actually coming out of the hill. That water right there. And that can travel, that can carry quite a bit of gold. I walked down here one day and I um, just had a little bit of a pan there, I didn't find very much. But I reckon this corner should be good. Like you can see here where the water's been ripping over the top of that. Probably come right in up here without cutting out the bank. Some big rocks but they're pretty easy to move. You can see the same thing happens here. All that hill, that all run down here into this gully, and then down. The only issue might be snakes. I'm walking up to the car, I get worried about Braden, I keep him pretty close. But as you can see, he doesn't have that much fear. You're gonna fall in there, mate. What I tell you? You right? I kind of wish he went all the way and I could have won 20 grand on funny something videos. Yeah? Find any gold before, mate? No. Pretty deep, eh? You're lucky you didn't go in there, mate. I'll show you, um... But actually, this bit where it gets stuck, it's not too bad because you can have a look, you know, as it's falling out. Oh, I'll stick a shovel up over there. I wouldn't mind a little bit more slightly, you can see a few rocks getting stuck in. You keep going, mate? No. Well, are you finished? Need longer boots, mate. Can't fault that pump. It's pumped there out for ah oh, once or twice. I can't remember. And I filled it up when I started, so it's been uh, nearly three hours now. So I'd be wrapped if I got you know five hours out of it. If you want. Throwing the pump in down there under the water. Yes, you do. We'll get back to it. Mm. Can I find some more gold, mate? Yeah. I think I'm good. You want to go home? Mm. Nah, no, watch a movie, mate. You've been beatboxing, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, mate. Can you do any raps? A to the Y to the M. A to the Z to the Y to the M. <laughs> that's pretty cool, mate. <laughs> Oh. Alright, we'll get back into it. How you travelling, mate? Ready to go home? Yep. Found any gold? Yep. No. You don't know? No, I don't know. I know we found some gold. Where is it? I'll just show you. Uh, right there, there's a big chunk. Oh, that's a good start. You can see how these change out. I just. I always do a couple of shovels at the end of my tailings just in case there's any gold in there. So it's a bit fuller than it usually would be, but you can see how well it cleans out. Like there's just really a few bits of quartz. Where? But heaps. Where's the gold? Just there, mate. Cool. Pretty big bit, isn't it? This? Yep. This right here? Yep, you like that? <laughs> do we like right this? Yep, that's it. I've seen a few little small specks, but I reckon most of it will be. Can you get it, mate, or not? Don't drop it. No. It's stuck in the mat. Oh, only, only if it's in here, but it wasn't stuck. Oh, it's wedged in there. Oh, there we go. No, what if you drop it, mate? I don't. Yeah, don't drop it. Whoa, sit still. That's a ripper. What's a ripper? 
start jumping, Brayden. <laughs> wow. Put it in your hand, mate. You need to give it back to Dad. Dad likes that one too much. No, I won't jump it. Can you go and get me white? I won't jump it. <laughs> you silly little man. <laughs> you silly little bubby. Oh, silly bubby. That's not bad. I know. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so you can see... Um, Oh, now I've got to put that gold somewhere. I can see it. Oh, there's some more right there. Look, this is that's just ironstone, which means it's cleaning out, and the heavies are staying in there. So that's good, and it's not packing in. You can see how loose that is. So that means it's you know it's liquefying nicely. Are you finished? Yeah, I just got to clean up, mate. And see how much gold's in here. Love that picker. It's a beauty. No, no. He's looking. He wants to blow out the mozzie candle. So I'll pan this down. I think I'll do it here rather than take it home. And I'll show you what we got. There's the um. Oh, I got really deep. I couldn't believe how deep I got. So I reckon this last lot, which should be pretty good. Well, fingers crossed. Like you always think. Oh no, I'm only hit bedrock. But I reckon that's. I've got nearly three, four foot down. And I didn't run out of petrol, so that thing's awesome. What are you singing, mate? What are you singing about? I don't know. Where's that dog? It's just here. I just checked the um, my phone. We ran for five hours. So this is the most I've ever put through. And leave that off, mate. I'll put that gold in there. It's stuck in here. Stuck in here. I'm going to put it in there. It won't suck in, mate. It's too big. All right. Where's my screwdriver? This shows you how good those that rib matting is. Can't get it out. Ah. Put him in, you hold it mate, I'll put it in. Hold the bottle. I'll put it in. Wait. Put it in! I did! Ah. I did hold the bottle! <laughs> well, there's one in there already mate. We haven't even started. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Abacusin! Oh, you're making gold, hopefully. Alright, I'll come back to you after the um, we clean this up. Apple set, apple set, make it into a fork! Red up. Alright, we're all done. It looks pretty good. I panned it out in the river and just double panned everything. I sucked up a lot of black sand, so I'm not exactly sure how much I've got, but it felt like I was sucking up a fair bit. No, it's really good. Whoa, it's really, really good. This reflection's a bit of a killer. See, pretty chunky too. A couple of real good ones up the top. You can see all the fine stuff in there. 
I forgot my magnifying glass. So. Oh, it's tans. It's always so chunky in this creek. Oh, look at that one there. It's another picker. Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> I forgot I put him in there. Like that. There's what five hours worth of gold looks like. So much. There's heaps of fine stuff here too. Which I don't usually get much of, and most of it's like that. But that's awesome. I'll give you um I just can't get it off. You get the idea. Out of that hole. It's pretty good. Just show you. Let me see. Yeah, well, that's not as deep as I thought it was. I'll come back and give this another crack tomorrow the next day. I haven't got any rocks there to refill it. But yeah, I usually get most of the gold off the bottom. Not too bad, I'm pretty happy with that. Brain's at it, ready to go home. Now the hardest part of the day, carrying it all back up the hill. So, until next time. Seems to be working out alright.